What's up internet and welcome back to another Crown Racing Co. YouTube video. In today's video, we're gonna be installing a cold air intake on my C5 Drift Corvette. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my 1997 C5 Corvette and I'm building it slowly to be maybe one day a professional level drift car. We've done suspension, angle kit, roll cage, uh, racing seats, which I'll actually show you guys. I just put a, a passenger seat in to match my driver's seat. So check this out. You guys haven't seen this yet, but now I got both of the Sparkos in there and I've got the OMP racing harnesses. So now if you guys come and meet us at a drift event, we can get you in the car and you can come for a ride with me. So I haven't shown you guys that, that yet. So that's a little bit of an update, but this is what we're doing in today's video. So we're finally getting to the power mods now. So if you take a look, bone stock. We have a bone stock 5.7 liter V8 with a stock intake on it. So I'm keeping this car forever. So I made the terrible decision to pay way too much money for a just a name brand filter. So I decided to go on K&N's website and I got their high performance intake. So we got a nice, huge pod filter, carbon fiber top and bottom. We got the new intake tube, some couplers, some brackets. Um, and there's also some, I'll show you what these are for later, but essentially we're gonna cut the radiator shroud to allow fresh air to come from the bottom of the car to the intake. So this is everything we've got. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to take a second to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We make uh, videos of us working in the garage, building our cars up, and we also make track day videos as well. So, wait, wait, wait. So didn't you say this intake came with a dyno sheet or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Do so you have that? I had the balls to send me, I'll just go get it, stay right here. I'm back. So I actually thought this was hilarious. Like most air intake companies, they're like, yeah, you're gonna make more power with it, right? We all know that you really should tune your car to actually make more power with power upgrades, but K&N actually sent you a dyno sheet to give everybody the warm and fuzzies. Oh, oh my God, 18 extra horsepower. So I think they just send this to us, so that way us consumers can be like, oh my God, $500, 18 horsepower? That makes sense. Well, in who reality, knows? There's a lot of other good intakes on the market that are a lot cheaper and they're gonna do the same thing. But I am I like nice stuff, so I'm a sucker and I bought the brand name stuff. You'll probably pick up a little bit of power. I just thought it was funny it came with a little dyno yeah. sheet. I have HP tuner, so I'll tune for it eventually, but there's no point. Eventually I'm gonna do a cam and we're gonna go, you know, maybe heads, maybe force induction. So when we get to that point, I'm gonna tune the car, but we're just gonna rip this filter on and then we're gonna go to Wookiees in the Woods. Uh, and we're gonna go drive Tail of the Dragon. All right. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Let's get this old intake off, make some modifications, put the new one on. Let's go. You won't see it a lot. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh. You scratched oh. it ruined. I got the the plastic intake kind of mounted to the throttle body with the silicone mount. You can see it right there. So what I need to do next is I have this air intake temperature sensor. And since I have a 97, I also have a vacuum line for my fuel pressure regulator. And there's no holes here yet. So I need to determine the distance here and make some holes. So there we go. I got my marks. Time to drill some holes. All right, crew, we're in good shape. 
So here's the, the grommets that I threw in for the intake air temperature sensor and the, the vacuum line for that fuel pressure regulator. So we got those in the intake. This dang intake is so oily, like out of the box. k and put some sort of oil on it. I'm kind of pissed. My screwdriver slipped right on the top A-class surface. Whoops, so I have a little bit of a mark there. I'm not stoked about it either, fam, but it's whatever. But we got that done. So now I'm gonna assemble the entire intake in the car and then I'm gonna mark where the filter is and then we're gonna cut that radiator shroud down and uh, make that duct for all that cold air to feed the filter. So let's move on to that. All right, well there you go guys. Here is the k and cold air intake for the C5 Corvette in all of its glory. Yay! It's not fitting and I spent like 10 minutes trying to really figure out why. And the reason why is because we actually, whether we want to or not, you have to modify this uh, bottom radiator shroud here. The top is okay, but the bottom, the filter is right up against it and it's touching my crash bar in the front and the filter is just so big that I can't actually get this intake tube to go down on the throttle body. So this is the best I can get it to fit right now without making that modification. So I'm gonna take a paint marker and I'm going to mark the sides of the filter here so that way I know exactly how much plastic to cut so I can make that little indent and that vent so that way the filter fits way better up here in the front. Here's what it looks like from the side. So you can see I'm just a little off the throttle body still. Tons of space to go there. I'm not gonna cut a hole in it, I'm just gonna cut the bottom and then the sides. So that way I can bend this plastic tab in like that and it's gonna catch some of the air that comes from the bottom scoop here. It's gonna catch some of that air and throw it right on top of the filter. So in this K&N cold air intake, filter kit, it comes with these, these bent sheet metal brackets and you're gonna mount it like that and then it's gonna push and keep that plastic fin down. Now, most people would actually remove this radiator shroud before cutting it, but uh, naturally, that's just extra work. So I'm just gonna use my little Dremel here. I don't have the right attachment on it yet. We're just, we're just gonna cut it in the car. Why do all that extra work? Why? Why follow the instructions step by step? We're gonna, I'm just gonna cut it in the car real quick, bang, bang, zip, zap, doodad, and we're, we're gonna be fine. Worst case scenario, I get a little bit of plastic in my radiator and I can use some compressed air to kind of blow all that out anyways. Don't worry about it. But don't be like me though, do it the right way. Don't be like me. <laughs> All right, crew. So I got this little duck now. See it? Yeah. I got that cut out in a fourth of the time it would take you to remove this stupid shroud out. So now I just gotta put my brackets in, mark where the holes are, and then I'm gonna use that Dremel again with a different carbide bit to just punch a couple holes through the plastic, put all the nuts and bolts in, and we're golden.
All right, guys, so I hope you installed the... What? Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed that cold air intake install on my C5 Corvette. As you guys just saw, I, I finished it and we got it all done in one day. Probably like a three, four hour project. It looks really good and I actually had to remove the carpet or the heat protection that goes underneath the hood. The intake sits above the upper radiator shroud. It clears it and the intake tube itself is just a bit bigger and wider and taller than the stock one. So I had to remove that hood carpet to get it to clear. I used a little bit of Play-Doh to examine the clearance I have from the hood to this intake tube. And it's not much, it's probably about a millimeter, but it's gonna, it should be enough. So this is what it looks like when it's all done and installed. And I've actually already taken the car for a drive. You know, my butt dyno can't necessarily feel what 18 horsepower, but it does feel like it pulls through the whole RPM range a lot cleaner and a little bit quicker. Uh, I also drove the car last night and in Michigan, it's like 23 degrees. So it's pretty cold out for these uh, Nitto summer tires but I was spinning significantly more of first gear and chirping second, uh, which I usually don't do with these really sticky tires on. So I think it was just cold, but the car is definitely making a little bit more power. It's more fun to drive. You can't really hear the induction noise uh, very much. You can hear it just a little bit at idle, but as far as like, like I said, the car just pulls through the RPM range a lot cleaner and a lot quicker. So. I feel like it did make a difference. After enjoying the install process and after enjoying my first drive, after installing the cold air intake, um, I am very happy with the product and I think it was absolutely worth all of those $450, $500 shipped. It was worth it and I'm excited to get more use out of it. I'll be taking this Corvette down to the tail of the dragon here within the, within the next few weeks with all my friends. So we'll put some miles on this intake and I'll, and I'll get to enjoy it. But